I've always hated people like that. Like, come run this back. Don't just, don't take that W and run like a little bitch. Come run these hands one more time so I can whoop that ass. I'm just saying. What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Cap, back with another Xenoverse 2 video for you guys. Today, we are here to take a look at some don't do's on Xenoverse 2. I put out a tweet quite some time ago. I literally forgot to make a video on this after I tweeted out. That was my whole intention initially. Um, but I put out a tweet asking, what annoys you the most about how people play in Xenoverse 2? And we're not talking character choice or mods. I mean like more timid and things like that. Because timid play is probably my most annoying thing and thing that I hate most about people who play Xenoverse 2 and, and play just anime arena games in general. You see a lot of timid play. So I wanted to see what you guys had to say on this. And if you want to get in videos like this in the future, just follow your boy on Twitter and pay attention to some of the tweets I've put out there. Because every now and then I will do something like this with you guys. Now jumping into the very first tweet, this one comes from the homie Zokai says people who always wait till you make any sort of move then come in for a counter attack. They deadass won't attack at all till you try to hit them or th uh, throw a super at them. That's 100% facts, touches on what I just said. Timmits are by far my most hated playstyle in Xenoverse 2. It, what, it's what annoys me the most besides like modders and things like that because bro, what, what, what are we really doing here? If I don't come attack you, we're going to be in a goddamn staring contest my guy. What fun is that? And it's not just Xenoverse 2 that this has an issue with. It's all anime arena fighters for the most part. It seems that timid play is usually rewarded a good amount of time in those type of games. Now the next one comes in from Homie McCookie. He says, people constantly just sit back and never attack you. And honestly, that's not why I get so mad. The reason I get so mad is because Netcode favors those assholes. Every time I'll be losing to people I, I should beat, but my fucking attacks that should connect never do. I swear to God, so annoying. That is facts. That is something else that is quite annoying about Timmits in this game. The netcode does not help it at all. Because you will have times, and I'm sure everyone's experienced this, where you throw out your punch and it hits. It looks like it gets the little animation of a hit and it makes the sound of a hit at the same time. But then you see your opponent back right out of it and then come and punish you. It does throw you off that much more and it does favor the Timmits that much more because, again, it is throwing you off. While it seems like you're getting a hit and it sounds like you are, you're actually not at the same time. So definitely can agree with that one, but it again falls into the line of timid play. Now this one comes in from the homie X v uh, Velnari. It says, frankly, I'm disappointed that that's the general way the game is played. Um, and somehow being a hyper aggressive DBS Broly who doesn't grab spam is still considered cheesy because giving your opponent no room to breathe is apparently cheap. Wait, what? First of all, I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about, frankly, he's disappointed that the game is played in a timid way by a lot of people. But on the whole, call calling someone cheesy because they're being aggressive and he's not grab spamming or anything like that with dbs broly you just need to get better my boy i even said it right here no they just need to get better what the hell how can you complain about someone being aggressive in a fighting game hello anyways moving on to the next one this one comes in from the homie kuriza he says bro in the recent turn i kept meaning the same person over and over again and the dude is playing try hard as fuck like he was at gunpoint now, I can understand running into the same person over and over again does get a bit annoying. You just, you want to play different people when you play online and things like that. It's not like this random dude is your homie. But at the same time, I can't blame someone for going try hard on a video game. When people say people are just going try hard, like, the, the dude's just trying to be as good as he possibly can. Can we really be upset at someone for trying to be as good as they possibly can on a video game? To me, I, I don't really rocks with that mentality right there, even though I do understand sometimes people are just trying to hop on the game, have a couple of casual matches, and when you do run into someone who is sweating and just beats you down, it is a little frustrating, but at the same time, I can never blame those people because, again, they're just trying to play as good as possible on said game. Now, the next one comes in from that homie Mike. He says, I love Xenoverse 2, but with random sucks because of the corny tryhards that abuse obvious holes in the game balance because they think they win in... They think winning in Xenoverse matters, lol. You'll see none of these people on fighters because they can't stand games that rely on skill. Now, again, I can't really blame someone for going quote-unquote try hard or playing a certain way unless it is a cheesy type of way. Like, if they're playing timid, things like that, then I can agree completely. If they're abusing some certain moves, I agree completely. But it just really depends on what obvious holes they're actually abusing in the game's balance to whether or not I would agree with this or not you know what I mean but again I cannot blame someone for trying to play as good as they possibly can that's just my take on that and moving on it says uh, this one comes in from the homie scar 736 
He says, if I'm playing 2v2 or 3v3 with randoms, I'm the last one alive and I and I get ganked on. Honestly, that shit is mad annoying to deal with. That's facts. That's facts. I've hated that in any kind of 2v2, 3v3 game that does offer that. Like, even when I play Smash with the homies, we don't do that unless it's for, like, the memes or, or just for funny moments or something. You know what I mean? If there is two people left on one side and one person left on the other... They let them have their ones, and if they do end up beating them in the ones, then the other person that's left standing will then 1v1 at the end as well. We don't really jump. I don't like the, the whole jumping thing in video games that do have 2v2s or 3v3s, so completely understand that without a doubt. Next up, we have the homie Only Gogeta. He says, people's mentality was always my biggest issue. With people playing Xeno, I'm sure it's still an issue now. A lot of people always using connection as an excuse why they lost or using less skilled slash cheap tactics to win and then think they're the best. Timidness, three barred margins, etc. That's the first time we've seen a three bar margin mentioned, which I'm actually surprised about. I thought I would see that quite a bit more because that without a doubt is a very annoying style that people have on the game. Like, bro, what the hell are you really doing? You're just flying around using an evasive, then flying, breaking your stamina. Using an evasive, flying, breaking your stamina. What the hell are you actually doing? Like, how do you even have any remote kind of fun doing that right there? So I completely understand that, and I do understand the mentality thing because a lot of people will blame anything that they possibly can, even when it's not an issue as to why they actually lost. So I can understand that as well. Next up, we have the uh, Elden Lord. I don't know what that says right there, but he says, People focus too hard on meta and being OP rather than making an interesting build. Um, I, I, I see what he's saying with this, but at the same time, I can't be mad at someone for making like an op build now if you're using like cheesy skills that's a whole different subject for a whole different matter but in terms of just making an op build i can't really blame someone from that but i would like to see more uh, interesting and diverse builds at the same time like i've played around with a lot of different builds on this game even though i still got my main of 125 basic 125 stamina 125 key blast super till i die on xenoverse 2 i will always have that but at the same time i have played around with a lot of other builds to just try and have fun with and things along those lines so i can understand what he's saying right there without a doubt now next up we have the homie i'm prexy says i hate people that do nothing but step vanish like crazy the entire fight and throw single punches it just turns into a clash fest that is a hundred percent true in xenoverse 2 for some reason the way the net code works a lot of clashes will happen off of snap attacks so you can literally just be in a, in a match where you get like five to ten clashes in a row especially if that is the only way that your opponent is ta attacking so i can understand that without a doubt but that's more of a net code issue than an actual uh game issue like if they're if there wasn't uh, such a netcode issue, I don't feel like you would clash that much, and this may not be a problem for the homie Prex at the same time. Next up, we have the homie Salty Johnny says, Connection plain and simple. Either that or people playing like their family is at gunpoint. Can understand the connection part, but again, when it comes to people just playing hard and trying to play as good as they possibly can, cannot really blame someone for that, and that's just my opinion on it at the very least. Now next up we have the homie Sonic Robin, he says, People running away and limit bursting whenever I get a lead. I know limit burst is just part of the game, but I hate it to be honest. That and cheesy builds made me quit PvP. Honestly, I can understand the hate for limit burst, and of course we got another person coming in with a timid issue. Timid seems to be the number one issue so far in this video without a doubt. But again, on the subject of limit burst, I feel if they would have done it a little bit differently, it could have been a lot better. For example, not letting you use it during a stamina break. And then also not giving these different kinds of boosts. Like if the simple thing of Limit Burst, the simple boost of it was just attack based. And that was the only type of boost you can get. And then you also couldn't use it during a stamina break. I think a lot more people would enjoy Limit Burst and actually have liked the mechanic and how it was implemented. Because it was implemented to be a second chance mechanic. A get off new mechanic. Which is in fighting games. A lot of fighting games actually do have this. But at the same time when you get stuff like I'll just guard. Or, or things along those lines and then you can also use it when your stamina is broken that is where it becomes a little bit annoying in my opinion but if they were to take those things away i think limit burst honestly would have been a great mechanic in xenoverse 2 without a doubt now next up we have the homie katie um she says male sans annoy me the most just for the fact that i see them every match and they all play the same okay that is something i can understand and something i mentioned with awoken skills it would be nice if we got an awoken that was for all races just to fix this issue right here more and more people would play other races if there was actual woken skills that were viable on those races now there's potential unleashed but at the same time potential unleashed is just stale and old on xenoverse 2 at this point so i can understand why you see so many male sands i mean all the best transformations and all the new transformations are on those characters so with that being said let's move on to the next tweet 
comes in from the homie. Okay, so the last five to eight tweets all fall in line with stuff that we've already talked about in this video, whether it be timid play, whether it be connection, whether it be three bar margins, limit bursting, how people play so try hard, things along those lines. And each of those we all did hit on and touch on already in this video, so I figured we'd end it right here, but also mention how timidness seems to be the number one thing that most people did mention within this tweet right here and is one of the most annoying play styles that you could possibly have on any anime arena fight. So if you take anything from this video right here, you should take not being a timid on this game because when you are timid on this game, it just ruins the experience for others on it and it just makes the game very very unfun at the same time and just annoying to play as well so let me know you guys thoughts on this down below in the comments on some of the stuff that people said and then also what is the most annoying thing in your opinion on xenoverse 2 that people do in terms of their play style moves they use things along those lines but as always man thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed until next time hope you have a good one hey y'all